Hey guys, this is Joe over at Synergy17 and today I'm going to show you how I created the 3D looking uh, layered laser cross. So um, I already have a cross here but in case you don't know how to make one uh, all I did was I took um, the rectangle tool and basically you can get to center that and then just move it however you want. Um, if you want to weld it and then uh, depends on how thick you want the border to be here. Uh, you're going to contour, use a contour tool. And I'll just do one contour of about 0.2. And that's to the, let's go to the outside. Okay. So once you do that, you want to right click, right click, and break the contour group apart. And I'll show you why I'm doing this. Because if I had this a certain color, these are actually two different pieces. It's kind of like a grouping. So you want to break that group and then I want to combine them. So when I combine them up here on the combine tool, I just have, um, you can kind of basically see through it. So anyways, that's how I create the cross. So I'm going to delete that since I don't need it. And um, I'm not going to use, uh, I'll use some colors once in a while, but I, I don't really need colors for this, but just to show you you know what things are combined the colors help see that but I don't really uh, use colors for this so anyways um, you guys can use any geometric shapes you can use squares triangles spirals um, octagons anything you want to to make different patterns I'm going to choose the polygon and we'll make this um, five sides um, or let's see yeah let's do let's do six sides. We'll see what it looks like. Um, you, this does not have to be proportionate. It doesn't have to be like the same size. Uh, let's do like 3.5 and I'll do this 3.5 just to show you. It doesn't have to be like this. We could make one side thinner, one side um, taller. It doesn't matter. But I'll just leave it for this way uh, for this example. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to contour this similar like we did the cross. So let's take this Contour tool, same thing. Um, you can go to the inside, to the outside, doesn't really matter. Take that, select it, break it apart. Oops. Uh, break the contour apart, and we want to combine it again. So now, same thing. I'll use the color just to show you that it's uh, this part is the fill. There's the two. Uh, the two are combined. Okay. So now. Um, you don't really know what the pattern is going to look like once you put it inside your object, but we can take this. I'm going to duplicate it. I hit Control D to duplicate. Let's put. Uh, let's do three of these here. I duplicate one more. So, um, you know, it's really hard. I don't really say I, there's a science to it. You're just going to kind of you, you want these to overlap. You know, like this to you know create these other shapes do you want to keep them separated like this I mean it's really up to you but I'll, I'll, I'll connect those ones um, I'm gonna grab two of these I'm gonna duplicate those and just bring those down here so these are you can see they're off so I'm gonna go up here to arrange align and distribute and I just wanna distribute these guys evenly so I'm gonna use the E to align them straight across so they're straight across and I'm going to use this one for spacing um, and I hit apply it basically makes them evenly spaced okay so on this one um, there's only two so there's no evenly spaced I'm just gonna I just moved one over uh, to the side of it anyways I'm gonna make sure those are even so now what I want to do is I want to put this one, I mean I could put this down here, I could put it up here and create more shapes within shapes. Like I said it's really up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these two and just temporarily I'm going to hit control G and group them and I'm going to hit control G and group these just so I can center everything. So I'm going to use C to center so like just to let you know what I did like this was off to the side and I hit C to center so they're all centered. Okay and I don't need them grouped anymore so I can ungroup and I can ungroup okay so now I'm going to take this control C control V I just duplicated it and I'm going to pull this down so now I just have more so now it's just really complicated looking pattern okay so I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to use this welding tool to weld it all so now you can see it's all one pattern 
if I you know put a color on it, you can see it's just a, some weird pattern. Okay, I don't need a color. So now I'm going to take this and put it over my cross here. Like I said, it, it's whatever you want to do, you can put it lower, you can put it higher, you can put it wherever you want. I'm just going to highlight them all, everything, and just hit C to center, so I know it's straight up and down. I don't care. I mean, sorry, straight left and right. I don't want it. I don't care if it's up and down, but I just want to make sure it's symmetrical left and right with the cross. I'm make sure it's centered. Okay. So now what we want to do is let me show you um, some typical mistakes some people do. Is they'll highlight it all and they'll click the intersect tool. Well, what that does is that only intersected part of you know the 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 basically the cross with the pattern and that's not what we really want. We want the out we want the entire outline of the cross. So I'm gonna hit delete. So for the cross I'm gonna break it apart. I'm gonna take this pattern, hold shift and select the outside of the cross. And now when I intersect, I'm gonna get this type of pattern, which is what I want. So I'm gonna undo that. So I'm gonna combine my cross once more. Take the two pieces I want it to combine my cross so I have one cross again put that back. So I'm going to take the in part, the intersect part that we just did. Let's see, take the intersect part and take the cross. I'm just going to hit control D to duplicate just so I can move these over. Whoops. Try that again. I said I want the intersection and hold shift and hit select the cross. Hit control D to duplicate. Now I'm going to have this. So now I have this here. Now you can see it's basically the pattern over the cross. I'm going to put that back. So now I want to take this whole thing and weld it again. So I'm going to weld it. So that's how, now I have this pattern. So now I have the cross ready to go. Um, I'm going to have that pattern. So so now that I'm ready, uh, I have this part, I'm ready to start contouring it more and more and more and to create my layers. Um, it would seem like you could just take this and contour and then say, hey, like I want, to, I want so many steps here. Uh, let's say to the inside but you'll notice that let's make this like 0 0.05 it doesn't really it's super small so I can't really do that many steps it starts it just kinda of stopped right there so I want to undo that I just want to show you that um, I could go to the outside and start doing that so many steps but then I make my cross overall a different size so I don't want to do that what you want to do is take your cross right click and break the curves apart. So now I have all these little pieces. Then I'm going to highlight the whole thing without the cross. Also, for pieces like this, if you don't care about things like that, you can delete those. Like little tiny pieces like that. If you don't want to uh, contour those, leave them alone. But I want to take all these pieces here without the cross. So that's why I won't grab the whole thing, but just everything but the cross. And uh, just so you can see colors now, I'm going to combine it. So now you know that I have this part all. Whoops. I have this part all as one section. So I'm going to take the color offs. Now, now that I want to start contouring the layers. So I'm going to choose the contour tool again and I'm going to go to the inside and you'll see the steps. So you see these steps here but now I want the steps bigger. So it depends on how much to the center you want to go. So I'm going to start increasing my step size. And uh, I only want five. I don't want to use a lot of wood, so I'm just going to use five. I mean, you can do four or three. You can have a lot more steps and make your uh, uh, your cross really thick um, or deep, I should say. Um, so, but I'm going to do it right around, right around there, and that's going to basically be my pattern. So now that that's done, there's a few things I got to do. I need to now take this and break this part. So let me sure I select this part break my contour group apart. So now that I have this, I need to separate them for cutting. So if I click here, you'll see I just have the outer part, but if I click on the next one, it's still all one piece. So that you want to right click and ungroup. See that? And if I grab the next one, whoops, if I grab the next one, you'll have all the different layers. So now what I do is, this is the way I do it. I just select my outer group and I hold shift and select the cross and I hit control D and then I move this so there's one of my layers that'll probably be my top layer then I can delete this, I don't, oops, I don't really need this piece anymore just so you can either delete it or ignore it take this piece, the next contoured step hold shift, select the cross, hit control D move this one over 
that's going to be another layer. So I don't need that one anymore. Grab the next contour, hold shift, grab the cross, control D. That's the next piece. Don't need that one. Delete that. And just continue this process. Hit control D. Move this one over. Delete this guy. This one. Control D. Just move it over here. And then here's the last one. Either I could just control D and say that. And some people like to put a, a background on, like have this have the back be completely solid. You can just delete that and that'll be your back. So anyways, that's actually a lot more than you know, I didn't five layers down, um, but then I have the, the base itself. So, you know, it looks like I got seven layers there, unless I didn't want this piece and I'd have the six layers here. So uh, anyways, that's how you do it. So then when I cut the pieces out, let me see if I so remember these are all separate, but if I Combine this one, combined, let's see, move this guy out of the way. Let's combine that one. I'm just going to show you what it would look like if I colored them. So that way you can kind of see um, what they, which each uh, piece would look like. I'm just going to color them as soon as I finish this real quick. Okay. So that would be a piece that would be a piece. That would be a piece. That would be a piece. And then this would be your, if you want, if you want the bottom to be completely solid, that would be a piece. And those are all the pieces you'd cut out. And then you just kind of basically stack them. So, um, you'd stack, take, you know, take the biggest one at the bottom, then this piece, then this piece, and so forth. Anyways, that's how you do it. But it, it really just kind of depends on what you do back here with your other ones. The one I did, the other one was a circle. You know, you can circle, squares, you can do these, and you can get all kinds of different patterns. You can separate them as far as you want. It's, it's really up to you. Anyways, that's how you do it. It's, it's not too difficult. It'll take you a few minutes to create something pretty cool.